welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia Malphite. Going to be our next meme tier Monday deck. We've played Talia Malphite a few times uh, so far to, you know, average success. And this, and, and we've always used like some different lists. So this is a new list submitted by a new viewer that has been playing this deck. So we got those two for our top end, and we got a lot of different landmarks in here. Of course, both champions really care about the landmarks. I love Chip. We got Chip as our one drop, one mana, three, three. I will take that all day. But yeah, Chip, Shapestone, Blue Sentinel, those should all be very good. Preservarium, Rock Hopper, like those are kind of like the core of our deck. We're doing some more Rock Bears with this deck, though. I haven't done too many Rock Bears, but we've got two Hibernating Rock Bears and two Salt Spires for some more Rock Bears. Salt Spire is probably like the best card for Talia to copy, especially in our list uh, that we have. Um, so we're going to try to kind of set that up with the round four Salt Spire, round five Talia, copy it. Um, that would be pretty nice. Then we got a couple of Zenith Blades, which I love Zenith Blade with both of our champions. Both champions really get rewarded for having Overwhelm. So that's going to be pretty nice. Um, Side Scout, underrated card. This will be like a 2-4 elusive quite a bit of the time. And a 3-mana 2-4 Elusive is a really good body. So we'll have that. We'll have some Desert Naturalists to blow up our opponents, like Emperor's Dies. Or uh, we can blow up our own Landmarks as well to make some more Grumpy Rock Bears if we need them. And then finally, Rockfall Path is an interesting one that could obliterate the weakest enemy. This could be good against like your Watcher decks that aren't really playing very many enemies. Could also be another good card to copy with Talia, and then now you obliterate two enemies whenever that countdown happens but let's go ahead and give it all a try talia malphite we'll go play five games in normal yeah chip's like the coolest chip's the coolest sejuani swain this is a cool deck haven't played against sejuani swain in a bit let's mulligan zenith blade and hourglass all right Got some cheap cards, which is what you want to have in your opening hand, so not bad. Hoping no house spider. Cool, I'll take that trade. Uh, I could save it. I want to keep the three one alive. I feel like the three, like, Sejuani, Swain, I don't know, I feel like they're going to be playing, especially playing Crimson Disciple there, like, they're going to have Ice Shards, and Avalanches, and Bladder Ravines, all that kind of stuff, like, where my 3-1 going to die super easily. So I'm just going to hold on to the Shape Stone. Chip! Here comes the Chip! Here comes the Chip! See, I'd protect Chip with the Shape Stone. We have to get one more um, landmark to get the plus two, plus two. With, there we go. That'll do. <laughs> like me, except very different in every way. I'm just going to attack there. You're not going to kill my chip. To be honest, like using that on the chip could be not worthwhile. Because the chip's going to now die to the Ember Maiden anyway. Did six damage to them. Alright, see you, Rock Hopper. I'm just going to use. You know, Rock Hopper going to be dying anyway, but using it to get this Roiling Sands in play. Rolling Sands. Having Rolling Sands is good to have. We did get a Scorched Earth out of their hand with that Blue Sentinel, so now one less Scorched Earth for a Malphite. That's important. This 
Zenith Blade. Overwhelm. Malphite's just cool, though. Even though, like, are we going to win all of our games? No. This is just pretty sweet. Now do. All right. Got the first one, Talia Malphite. I like those rock bears. It is a good day to be Malphite. Sure is. Okay. Playing against some ephemerals. It's gonna take a little while to turn on this salt spire. But I think I'm gonna keep it. This I could definitely see this hand losing. Right? But we got stuff to do. I don't think they're gonna have any uh, landmarks for us to destroy. That would be a great card to get rid of. So now they have like two rounds to play something that's weaker than the Green Glade duo. But if they play something weaker than the Green Glade duo right here, it will have Vulnerable, and I will challenge it. Like that. I'll predict. Let's put none of these on top. Like Salt Spire round four, Talia round five. Maybe Preservarium actually. And then round six, go like Preservarium plus Naturalist and just blow up the Preservarium instead of drawing the other card. Um, we make a five four. And then round seven, Talia. Or so sorry, Malphite. Yep, that's gonna attack. I guess I could play the Naturalist right now, though. That'll slow me down a little bit. I'll slow everything down, but I'll be able to block Zed. Kithiana, you've got to see this new board. A little busy now, Sammy. Later. That means I'm not playing the Preservarium. Yeah, I was about to say that. By the way, I should I should have just open attacked right there. I was about to say that. Um, but I'll still just attack with this thing. Before they played anything else. And it doesn't really matter. It wasn't affected. But like, if I would have... Yeah, I should have just open attacked with everything. The other good news of slowing it down like this is that we are going to have spell mana to go along with Malphite next round. Do not deny me. Whoa. Stop following me. What's this attack about? I suppose you'll do. Huh. That was unexpected. It's like Malphite, like they had that voice line, like talk about like the metagame, like whenever you have like Malphite, I'm gonna shake things up, like I'm gonna shake up the metagame, but Malphite doesn't actually, didn't actually really shake up the metagame. Nopify. Uh. Oh, that's bad. We're just gonna get burned out by Neverglade Collector. 
I might as well attack. No real reason not to attack, I guess. I mean, I guess by attacking it lets them drain me for 8 though, instead of drain me for 6. And then they're just gonna heal back again anyway, so now there's, there's no reason to attack. Yeah, Neverglade really Collector. Not looking good. Can't make any blocks to keep me alive. That Nopify. I felt very good about that until Nopify second Neverglade. Dang. Okay, we got Riven and Vi. It's a cool combination. I like their Riven sleeves. I'm gonna keep all of it. Hourglass, I'm, you know, this is the card. I'm keeping the other three. Hourglass I could see putting back, but I, I think Hourglass could be good to keep. I was gonna say, if they just go, like, cast Jury Rig Block and kill my chip, I would have been so sad. Pocket. Underplayed card. Underplayed card. Oh, I'm gonna skip. I don't really want any of those. So our three mana card is just a generic 2-4. Theirs is a 3-4, but then also <laughs> whenever you gain the attack token of your forge and levels up when you see the Blade of the Exile and does a few more things. What you looking for? These are generic 2-4s good against uh, Kenpong Pickpocket. I sense their power. The cost of war. I'll take that trade. Oh, Riven's champion spell with that plus two. Dang. Alright, so while I could Hourglass to keep this alive, it's just a 2-4. I don't care that much about keeping it alive, but I do care about killing their Riven. So we're going to use that plus three, plus one to kill the Riven. I can choose Ancient Preparations to give it elusive, but Ancient Preparations is not any good. I guess, I guess it's good because of Naturalist. So yeah, that that works. We can we can do both of those together. So that works. Yeah, that works. Fifteen. Talia. Hmm. I don't have any landmarks to copy, but it's Italia. I want Talia. We'll figure out what to copy later. I'm not copying Ancient Preparations. I want to copy Hourglass, right? Like, I want to Hourglass, Malphite, and then copy Hourglass, but... Um, that's what I want. But then I'd probably need to hourglass this so the Vi doesn't level up. But I could also let Vi level up, alternatively. Like, Vi could level up, it's no big deal. 
I want multiple Malphites. Now I take eight. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna like ride a negation. So I could just like ride a negation, kill this thing. And then their Vi doesn't level up. I probably should just keep riding negation though. Like basically all that does is just like save me five life. That's no big deal. Whatever. Coming to save the day. What a like they have another whirling death that kills Malphite or Talia later, and I just don't have a ride negation anymore. I'm gonna be much more sad about that. Okay, Rock Hoppa. So no Zenith Blade for Talia. That's not good. Ah, uh, the Overwhelm. Oh, that's really not good. That's... Oh, that kills me. Yeah, that's... That's really bad. That's what I couldn't couldn't have happen was it an overwhelm the old tongues are okay, this overwhelm anyway maybe they don't attack no attacks and elusive All right. good hand We are going to have an amazing board after that. We just need to not die that round. All right, Ezreal Kindred. I will keep. We can keep a seven mana car like Malphite because we already got other good stuff to play beforehand. Current timelines. There's never any reason to play concurrent timelines on round one. By the way, that's something that you really should never do. Because now I just know that they're, you know, like, you know, it just gives me information that, that, you know, like now I know their concurrent timelines deck, where when you can save the spell mana. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on then, I guess. We got that card. Good draw. Everyone's a god. That's pretty nice. No, I hadn't. I hadn't thought about that at all. Delphine has asked if I considered upgrading the bird deck. I have not. We did um, long, long ago. We did a, a deck that was just built that had every single unit was a bird, and like all like a, like all the cards had like arts of birds on them. 
Um, but yeah, I didn't know that there are even cooler and bigger birds. So there's Etherfiend now. Well, see, like Etherfiend's in Shadow Isles, right? Like we, it was Demacia Freljor to have all those. Like Shadow Isles, I think would be pretty tough to use in a bird deck. Right, since we don't get to play all the regions. That would be nice. It's like, hey, I'm doing this stipulation of everything has to be a bird. Can I use all the regions? <laughs> they don't let us do that. Ren Shadow Blade's a great 4-drop. What was the 4-drop they played to turn it into that? I don't know. Is that a Sandcrafter? This is our way. Be still. Try to keep up. Excuse me. You are lost, yes? Are you troubled, friend? I don't really want the blue sentinel to die right now. Ugh. I didn't really want to play Malphite the next turn. Let me see. That was back whenever I had uh, Talia alive. I wanted to, like, Zenith Blade that Talia and then save spell mana and then play Malphite and have Zenith Blade with the spell mana. But we're not doing too, too bad. Things could be worse. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I like concurrent timelines a lot. I think in concurrent timelines is a really cool card. That's a fun card to play with and against, you know, like your games are completely different all the time. I just think the fade I just think concurrent timeline should be a landmark. That you can, your opponent can interact with. They can destroy the landmark. Man, that's the best two drop to hit. So it's not just because I'm not a big fan of like the rest of the game. This effect happens, and you can't you can't do anything about it, kind of stuff. I think a landmark would be kind of cool. Even if it's, you know, it could still cost one mana. Just be a one mana landmark. They're getting some good hits, too. That's that's pretty awesome for them. You're like, there's not many better one drops than this. There's definitely not better two drops than this. This is an awesome four drop that, you know, made this one. They're good. Some good hits. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Okay, so that uh, landmark that's about to go off for us does obliterate. It's the weakest enemy, so it'll be this one drop. It will obliterate it. So they don't get the, uh, you know, whenever it dies, triggered ability. Um, I have 11 mana. This would be 3, 5, 10, 12. So no unstoppable force if I play Zenith Blade. I don't have, like, room for the copied landmark unless they kill one of my units right now. Stay still. I decided the Ruination is, you know, it's not likely, but it is an option. I decided not to just play Talia right there.
We'll go for it. We'll go for lethal. Got that. It is a good day to be malfight. Thresh Nasses. Okay, first like tier one deck that we've played in a little while. Like we have been playing against some non-tier one decks. So Mulligan Malphite, and yeah, that too. I like it. Good hand. Good opener. I don't really know how our deck deals with like Anasis though. Or like we're just gonna have to hope to have Malphite stun everything. So maybe I should have kept the Malphite because like Thresh, Nas, like both their champions um, are gonna present some pretty large problems. And I'm gonna wait on playing Chip, I think. Instead of playing chip on round one. Okay. So that changed it. With having Rock Hopper for round two. Because I didn't want Chip to just die to Vile Feast. Now they could still just start with Vile Feast and that'd be sad. But I wanted to play like Blue Sentinels. I didn't want to play Preservarium right away. Probably should have played Blue Sentinel. Yeah, it's true. This deck could definitely play a couple copies of Hush. Hush is just always good against everything. That would certainly be possible. Um, I'm going to skip. These first two don't really matter, and we already have a Malphite. I mean, I could take another Malphite. Actually, maybe we just do that. Maybe just take another Malphite. So, Malphite Champion spell <clears throat> being the Ground Slam can be pretty useful against some of their champions. Yeah, we just we don't have like any interaction. Which is you know, like why we've lost a couple of these games, so no, no ground slam, no hush, no nothing in here. So if they're able to go bigger than us, we're going to struggle. Not doing too bad so far, 2-2. Two two. But now we're playing against Thresh and Asa, so, you know, tier 1 deck. So don't love my chances. So I could have played Blue Sentinel there, but I would not have been able to block with Blue Sentinel because they are going to have the Butcher challenge the chip and then hit me for four fearsome. That's right. Run. So that's why I played the, the preparations because it didn't matter if Blue Sentinel was in play right then or not. So if they kill the blue sentinel, I get to play Malphite next round. Opponent doesn't know what to do though. There we go. Nope. Yep. Can't really stop them from having millions of slays. So I want to take the Talia. But I don't have any landmarks to copy. Plus, you know, I want this thing to be um, elusive. So I could choose the rock bear. But that rock bear just isn't very, isn't very good. I guess I have to choose the rock bear. We need this to be elusive. The rock bear also makes this 10 out of 10. Right, like right now it's at 9. Um, we are drawing 2 because of the Preservarium. So hopefully we can also draw... Something else that's pretty cool. Like an, a nice withering whale. Yeah, Chip Guardian should make chip noises. 
I agree. Alright, doesn't look good. They figured out to attack with everybody. They figured it out. Alright, Malphite, I'm gonna need you to kind of do everything. Well, that's not good. Copper is one of the best draws I could have, right there. Stop running. Watch me. I'm not dead immediately now. It's not yet. Virtually dead, but not dead immediately. But virtually dead. We need to draw like another another Malphite, I guess. Malphite. That's not gonna do it. I guess I could if I, I maybe I should have led with this. Try to look for Malphite. that pump spell to like help me block Nasus, but with the open attack but you know thrash double Nasus, we can't we can't stop we don't have three things that can block okay well another two three for talia malfoint um you know could do some cool stuff just like you know kind of like the uh encroaching shadows deck we definitely have some power if our opponents don't kill us too quickly or if they don't go more powerful right like the so like the fast aggro decks or you know, NASA so just don't have anything to stop here. Uh, could play a couple of, of Hush. Maybe that would be better than, you know, like some number of like the Rockfall Pass. Maybe just playing some Hush over those. That could maybe help us out a little bit. Because, yeah, it looks like we kind of need a little bit of interaction here with the deck. But, um, but I like the, the Salt Spire into Talia. Like, we, you know, we got to make some a bunch of Rock Bears with that. Like, like that was pretty cool. And uh, Malphite looks like a good closer, right? Like having that unstoppable force Malphite was a pretty good closer. But just making it so the opponent doesn't kill us. Um, you know, maybe we could have a couple of better uh, ways for that. But All right, there we go. There's another uh, Talia Malphite list. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, let me know what you think of this version. And, and what would you 
you know, if you would change anything in the deck, what would you change? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Love, love seeing the, that feedback for these different uh, viewer submitted decks. But we have one more deck to play today. It's going to be some Mage Seeker 3000. Um, so again, leave those comments. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.